Well, hi. It has been a hot minute since we have spoken. One week to be exact, and you haven't even seen that video yet. Clearly, I am back home and no longer in the dirty jurors. Let us recap. I'm still fat because I've just been eating whatever. It is what it is. Um, I have determined, like, I want to stay within a 10-pound range. I'm a little heavier than that. So I do want to lose about two pounds in order to be into that range. But um, I'm really, like, I'm okay with where I am in life. I really am. And I'm happy with that. Like, I'm, I'm happy with myself. If that makes any sense to anybody. It's rare, but it happens. I'm sorry, are you driving a tracker? I have not seen a geo tracker in 20 years. That was the car that they gave away at our project graduation. Holy crap, I wanted one so bad. Anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm happy with myself. Like I, I mean, of course there's things that I would wanna change, but you know what? Like I don't care enough to actively work on them at the moment. I am very much so wanting to cook for my family and not have to worry about what's in it. Like all I've wanted to do since I got home is make biscuits and gravy for them and use the new griddle that I got at my shower for my aunt. And you know, I want to get my kitchen together and I want to start being like wifey. Like I, I don't know what it was about that trip with Leanna, but like I came back wanting to just be like full blown wifey. And I think it's like, cause she said, you know, when Dave and I first got together, I was like, it's not a big deal. He doesn't want to get married. It's just like a piece of paper, whatever, whatever. She's like, but Erin, it's not just a piece of paper. She's like, something will change. And I'm like, it already kind of has. Like it has already sort of changed inside of me where I want to do like what you would consider like wifely things. Like I want to clean. I want to, you know, cook dinner. I want to do all these things. And don't get me wrong. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because my kitchen has been a hot mess because I haven't had a day off since I got back to fix my kitchen. I have like $3,000 worth of shit that I have to put away in that damn kitchen. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. There's so much crap. Just like everybody went like hog wild. Like I got, my, my aunt-in-laws went insane and did like a whole gift basket. Plates and... I, I have a deep fry thermometer. I have a meat thermometer. I got a brand new can opener, which by the way is like the best can opener I've ever used. I'm so sick of using my electric can opener. Such a pain in the ass. I just grabbed that thing and, and I was golden. You know, it's, there's just so much. Like I have to actually clean out a, another drawer. Like I have to get rid of our drunk drawer in order for me to have a place to put all this stuff. I got like a little over the... Over, I was going to say over the shoulder boulder holder. That's not correct. Uh, I got one of the over the cabinet like holders for like cutting boards and things like that. Cause his aunt, also an aunt in law, uh, got like, got me a whole bunch of cutting boards, which I needed. Cause like I have one cutting board, one and it's wooden and I use it for everything, which is not great. Not great. My friends, my other aunt in laws got me like this cute shirt that says the one where Aaron and David get married and it has our, our name on it like I'm gonna wear that the day after we get married like on the way home and uh, like a central perk burned cutting board like wood burn cutting board and a mug that I absolutely adore it says he's her lobster or something it's something about a lobster. just has like my name and then a picture of a lobster than our wedding date so like I don't know like last week was a total just amazing my whole like that five day span was just the most ridiculous thing that I could ever imagine and I loved every single second of it it was by far the best five days I got to spend it with my best friend who I really like we have now reconnected on so many different levels like I literally talk to her every single day and she's like when I think of something she's like you're the first person I'm like I have to tell Erin and I'm like, oh my God, same. It, it was like the September, and I know I say this a lot, the September trip revitalized our, our friendship. And then this one, I think just made it even stronger. And then I'm gonna see her again in August. She's gonna marry us. I'm just, 
I love it. And I keep trying to convince her. I'm like, you need to move to Alabama. She's like, girl, I think I might. <laughs> She's like, I, we need to convince people. But like, I don't know. Oh, and I got my friend Johanna. She's one of my bridesmaids. Got me. Instead of getting me like house stuff, got me this cute little bag. I love it. These are my bridal shower nails, which desperately need to be filled in. And this is two weeks. I'm going to not like, I'm not going to be able to get my nails done down here before I go up there for the wedding. I'm going to have to get them done up there. Um, I'm going to go grab my coffee. I'll be right back. All right. So anyway, last weekend was amazing. The road trip was amazing. I did the majority of the driving, but just cause I'm a control freak and I enjoyed it. We went to the white house. Like we went to see it. There's neither one. So that was a whole event. I got back in the car and was talking to you and then I saw a tail on my window and there was a gecko. So I had to get him off the car because God only knows how long I drove with him on it. Um, but a recap of last weekend. It was amazing. I got to spend five days with my BFF. We drove. We saw the White House. I got to meet Aaron. It was just probably one of the best weekends I've ever had. And now I have to go home and do a whole reorganizational thing with my kitchen. I got a salted cold foam, salted caramel cold foam coffee thing. Mm. And it's delicious. I am going to drive. Um, I'm going to get gas soon. I haven't gotten gas since we got back. But I'm going to drive. I just wanted to say hi to you guys and let you know that I am, in fact, still breathing. Right, this way. Um, but that I haven't been counting calories or keto or Weight Watchers because I'm happy. That's not to say that I won't start it in another week or two. I go for my dress fitting on uh, Tuesday. I was supposed to go this past Wednesday when Leanna got in, but her flight was delayed twice. So I didn't get to do it. Um, she didn't land until like 10 minutes after we were supposed to be there. So um, I get to go on Tuesday and I'm going to go by myself. So that'll be fun. Get to lug that damn dress everywhere. That dress, it weighs so much. It weighs so, so much. Uh, but yeah, things are trucking along. 55 days and I'll be a missus. And then I won't have any content anymore. Because all I do is talk to you about the, the wedding. Which we're still missing like half the invitations. So that's fun. Our RSVP date was the first. Today's the third. Mm. I'm going to drink my coffee. And I'm going to go to World Market. And then I'm going to go pick up our Walmart grocery order. And I'll see you when I see you.